Hi guys! For a more advanced project, you will need some kind of a real-time clock. I currently have the Dallas 1302 model. It counts seconds, minutes, hours, date of month, day of week and year with leap year correction valid up to 2100. It automatically adjusts the date for the month with fewer days. DS1302 uses serial communication to interact with microcontrollers. It has a 3-wire SPI interface. This 3-wire bus consists of reset or chip enable, bi-directional data line and the system synchronizing clock. RTC needs 2 to 5.5 volts for a full operation. There is also a battery backup. Lithium cell can keep a DS1302 running for many years as it has extremely low power consumption. The module uses a 32 kHz crystal oscillator to generate required frequency. There are 31 bytes of static RAM which can be used for temporary storage of calculations, data and other work in progress. Let's do the wiring. I am connecting a VCC to 5 volts. Next is the ground. Clock will connect to pin 5, data to pin 4 and reset to pin 2. Connections are indicated in the code. For the power pin, you can choose either 5 volts or 3.3 volts. The computer's compile time will set the current time for the clock. So you can see there's about 10 second lag between the computer and the RTC. I am using the built-in RAM to store the next alarm's time. Currently there is an alarm executed every minute. I also adjust for daylight saving time. To print out a date and time, I want to use a 12 hour format with an AMPM indicator. This can be achieved by simply subtracting 12 hours and addressing a special case at midnight. RTC doesn't take into account the daylight saving time or the time zone, so this needs to be added. Set memory stores the next alarm in the memory. Get memory reads it. To determine if it's daylight savings time, I have adapted a method from the NTP Time ESP library. You can use this library in an online solution. My example is offline, so I've decided to just hard code it. You can download all this code from the link in the description under this video. Let's test a power outage. You will get an error message. Now let's use a battery backup. You can see the last alarm is still stored, but we need to recompile and update the current time. Let's test the time change. I will update the computer's time to the second Sunday of March, just little before 2 am. Now you can see the time on the computer is already updated to 3 am and so is the time and alarm on the RTC.
That's all for today. Hope this helps and see you next time.